Okay, in a similar way to uh, putting the boiler onto the chassis, we're going to put the tender back together. I'm not going to be showing it in all the detail, just the highlights, because you've already seen me put the tender together in an earlier video. The only change we've got is um, attaching the lamp iron to the back. So I'll show you how I'm going to be doing that later. Let's crack on. Okay, so, okay, so there we've got the outer frame on. You can see I've primed uh, those places where it was still uh, bare with the mountings. So that's that on. So now what we're now going to do is um, put the lamp iron on. So we'll put the bolt through one of the holes. Put him on like that and get the nut on. Yep, it's on. Perhaps put the lower one on as well. Get them both started. So that's on. So trying to get the rear lamp iron about right. That's about it. That's about vertical. So it's on. It's on tight now. I'll just try and show you the nuts on the inside if you can see them there. Let me see if you can focus in. They were very close together and it's a bit difficult to get to. But uh, managed to get there in the end. Just tighten up tight. I put some uh, Loctite on them as well. So that's that done. Happy with that. Crack on. So if you remember, this is also a bit of a fiddly job. So you might not see it all on the film. But we'll see if we can crack on with some of it. First one's on, and we'll crack on with one at the back, and so on and so on and so on. See you in a minute. So just tighten him up now. So. So the next step is to uh, finish off the fitting of the radio control gear. Uh, inside the tender and I've got some other stuff uh, on the table as well that we're going to use um, obviously the switch is going to be put back in as normal fitted as normal but to secure the receiver and uh, the battery box I am going to be using velcro and this is uh, quite a simple stuff you buy it on the roll and then uh, you peel off the back and then you can glue it down. So one part will go on the back of the receiver and the other part will go um, on into the base of the tender. And then hopefully we'll have that secure. And because it's Velcro, if you need to take it out, you just pull it out and then you're done. Before, for example, if you need to change the batteries and so on and you can't quite get them out, then you just pull the battery, hold it out and then, uh, and then they put it back when you're done and it's not going to rattle about. Uh, the other thing on the table is actually double um, double sided uh, sticky tape uh, tape. Um, I hope this is going to work, but this is uh, I've not used this stuff before, and what I'm going to be using it for is to the two cables that go to the locomotive, the servo servo cables. Uh, if you remember, they come through the holes, and then they come out the other side. And come out this way so I'm going to use be using this the the, the double-sided tape to hold the cables away from the wheels as the cables feed forward to join uh, to join the servo cables on the locomotive so just put the last screw in roughly measured it up
So let's have a think where it's going to go. Somewhere like that, I think. Cut this one a bit shorter because it's too much there. And we'll attach this to the back of the receiver. Like this and then it'll be fitting on like that and and that will keep it in place okay same for the battery box do the same thing noting that that other cable's got to come through there and there we go and that will stay on there Okay, now let's feed these cables back through. Okay, take this off a sec. This was the second one and that needs to go down like that. Same for this one. Uh, the earth, black cable. Towards the bottom of the printing board, so it goes like that. Okay. So the next, so that's it's all in. So the next stage now is um, fixing the servo extension cables to the underneath of the tender. But to know how far to, to fix them, we need to know how far they need to, how much cable you need to attach to the proper servo cable. So we have to bring the loco back in. So let's do that now. Okay, here's the loco uh, in the picture. What I've actually done, I've actually put a rip tie around the drawbar, but not absolutely tight. It just holds the cables enough off the ground so they so you don't really see them much once the uh, once the plate is the drop plate is is there. So now we have to sort out how much room we need. I normally put them there so let's see what we can do if this is there let's say I can attach that and perhaps do the same on this side is that going to work here with this one yeah and then we can push them back and then it's about there so they need to these cables need to be projecting about there I think maybe a little bit more just over the edge okay let's take them apart so the servo cables have measured up and they need to be just projecting over the side like that both of them So we can turn this on its top and then figure out how we're going to do that. Okay, so I've cut a piece off. I'm going to try and force it into here now. So, as you can see, it's transparent tape. So let's take this back. Let's have a look we're going to need it about there so let's see if we can force this down let me bring that up and see if you can see it so there's the tape on there, and I've uh, 
put the cable on it so that's the solution that I'm going to be using okay so that's both sides done both attached let's bring the loco back in and uh, connect him up there's one there's two So, and then if you imagine, um, later on, the four plate will be here, something like that, something like that, and then you won't really see it. Perhaps from underneath you might see something, but apart from that, and that will be that. So I'm quite happy with that. 